A chance for the community to share their voice with law enforcement and other local leaders tonight. Thousands across the nation came together for the 40th annual National Night Out. And here in Richmond, it was the first for new police chief Rick Edwards. Our Maggie Marshall spoke to him about why he says events like this are so important. The energy was high as Richmond police and community liaisons traveled by trolley to neighborhoods all across the city for National Night Out. This is just a great example of community police partnership and just getting out to know people when uh, when there's not crime scene tape up. For one night every year, police departments across the country work to create further connections in the community. While this was the city's 40th year participating, it was Rick Edwards' first national night out as Richmond's police chief. This uniform can be seen as a barrier. What we want to do is get people to know us as human beings. We're just excited for this night and we want to continue it with our pop-up events, with our community walks, just on a monthly basis, making sure that our community sees our officers. 52 neighborhoods across the city held pop-up block parties. There's a lot of free snow cones. Eating, just walking food, around, walking eating around, food. eating food. Different organizations made sure to provide opportunities for families to find resources and for law enforcement to interact positively with kids. It comes at a time when the city is navigating an increase in youth violence. We have violence all over the city of Richmond, but this is one time that we should show that is a better way than having violence. The police is there to protect us. Also, we always have a relationship with the police as well because the only way that we can make this here happen, we got to work together. Bringing people together as they say they work to show all communities they are better when they stick together. We don't have enough officers to do what we need to do. We need the community participating with us in crime prevention. And that was our Maggie Marshall reporting.